on. Y'all thought you could fool me? I've been doing this full time for a few years now, ladies and gentlemen. You're not gonna catch me slipping. Ladies and gentlemen, I know, all right? If you've been living under a rock, you haven't paid attention, I got you with the info. Left and right, folks is trying to drop all these fake 2K20 screenshots and videos, trying to bamboozle me into thinking it's real news. I got all the gems for you today. You'll never ever in your life have to go to your friend and be like, hey Tony, you see the screenshot? There's 2K21 right here. Tony's gonna have to tell you because he probably watched the video. Bro, this fake. So this is how it usually goes down, all right? Somebody drops a fan art. In this case, Craig put out a tweet saying, NBA 2K20, yes or no? Gorilla did it first, but gonna add my own twist to it. And he dropped a screenshot here of the little archetype selection screen. You know a lot of people don't mess with the dual archetype system. Everybody wants a 2K16 system back, balanced inside, outside. This looks pretty damn realistic. Except Craig is not trying to pass it off as a real thing. He's saying, this is a fan art, guys. I made this because I love the game and I'm excited about 2K20. Now this is when it gets real malicious, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody will take this screenshot, hide any evidence that it was made by Craig, try and pass it off as something real, post it on Twitter, Reddit for upvotes, and, and they literally do this for retweets and likes. They were pathetic individuals. They sit back just like this in their chair and think, I have zero talent and no abilities. I don't know how I'm gonna make it. I might die at the age 25 just from stupidity natural causes and so they end up wasting their time trying to post these but it's not fooling anybody like me it might it might it might have fooled you though has don't lie to me man you can be honest with me about a week ago we heard of our first leaked screenshot i was a little bit excited i'm not gonna lie to you it almost bamboozled me craig dropped this screenshot saying let's do it the correct way according to 2k sources rumor of the way the park neighborhood looks and it linked to two screenshots one here and one there now at first I was like, hold on man, that might be real. I pulled up in After Effects and I was zooming around trying to find any imperfections. Hmm, maybe this was edited. Cause if something is a fan art, if something was faked, there's usually a telltale sign. Cause it's not professional people making these. It's just fans that are making these. So I'm just looking for mistakes. You see the Beats billboards, the NBA billboards. You can see the courts right there has a 2K logo. Hmm, interesting. But then it hit me like a ton of bricks. It was fake. You scroll down into the replies and you have this right here, which is the original backdrop. All they did was take out the water and in this instance, just add a court. And if you look very, very carefully, you can even still see the water. The court just kind of looks like it's floating at that point, which I'm not, I'm not actually opposed to that idea of a court floating on water. Not realistic but a good ass environment. Okay, so we debunked that one as fake, but for, for a cool couple hours, everybody was super gassed retweeting this, making sure everybody saw this because everybody thought it was real. Even Craig had to clarify. He said, do y'all think it's real? I was informed it was fake and the person who told me, can't drop names, said it's fake and apparently a picture of Vegas. So it's just a Vegas backdrop with a 2K core and that really tricked that many people. Because a lot of the time we're so excited about the next 2K, we're just ready to believe anything exciting. You won't ever catch me slipping. I will never ever be caught. You're probably wondering, how is that agent? Do you just know everything? Mm -mm. I know like two things very well, that's it. The first thing I know, if you see something that's supposed to be leaked, assume it's wrong until proven otherwise. And thing number two, 2K doesn't really care when you criticize their game or their developers, or the way this works in the game, or that works in the game, or how they do their microtransaction system. I've never in my life gotten a strike for criticizing 2K, ever. The only time 2K gets pissed is when you leak something that isn't supposed to be on the internet, that because of you, is now on the internet. When you do that, they're not joking. I remember a few years ago, Gento got a strike on YouTube for doing that. A few others did too. Shake and Bake got his whole Twitter terminated. Who are you? It doesn't matter. They're striking you down. They're very serious about that. So this is how you know if something's real or fake, ladies and gentlemen. This is the gems from me, ladies and gentlemen. Agent Zero Beamstar himself, right? If it's online for more than 24 hours, it's probably fake. <laughs> Because if it was real, the, the Twitter would be terminated, the channel would have gotten a strike, the video would have been removed, they would take it down immediately, no hesitation. All right, so under this tweet here, uh, one of my loyals, Revenge, dropped a screenshot and is Eastside versus Westlake. 
He captioned it, 2K20 affiliations confirmed. Now, if you're in the know, you would know that that's a Roblox screenshot. It's just a mod on Roblox. So he's just memeing, but let's play along. Somebody replies, isn't that Roblox? You're cruel for this one with a whole lot of crying laughing emojis. And then Revenge replies, nah, it's 2K20. See, he's joking in this situation, but what someone will do is take this screenshot, post it to Reddit, and say, affiliations confirm? And then half of the people believe it. So there's a whole lot of people that just believe wrong things right now, online, in the internet. And I've never in my life seen a more egregious offense than the one I'm about to show you right now. There is a guy on Twitter by the name of that boy Drop. You bum, boring, stupid, lonely sat back in your fucking computer, realized my content's not gonna get me any views. Maybe if I fake a screenshot, it'll help me get some views for my channel. Leaked, question mark? NBA 2K20 insider news. Video dropping soon on my channel. He linked his channel and he, he tagged a whole lot of people here. Now, I had to do what I usually do, ladies and gentlemen. For this one, I didn't even have to do it. You might have already booked it. I pulled up After Effects, I had to analyze. Hmm, is this really real? First thing I noticed, the font, it looks amateur. Anybody who cares about their user interface would not be using a garbage ass font like that, besides the point. Miami Beach Ballers are back and here to stay, exclamation mark. Make sure to rep the ballers by going on high win streaks in the neighborhood for double reputation and apparel capsules in NBA 2K20. My guy, you don't know how to spell? You dropped out of high school, huh? Ladies and gentlemen, stay in school, all right? Or else you're gonna end up dropping fake 2K20 screenshots and f***ing up the spelling. This is simple stuff. The least you could do is get the spelling right. Everyone would still think it's fake, but then at least you wouldn't look like a complete bozo to the internet. So think about that. The guy literally created this to, to fool people for views. You know what the funny part is? You might have think after watching all this, like, huh, maybe everything is fake. No, 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 no. There are real people with real information that can't say nothing because if they release that information, they're getting straight. Anything that's real is too risky to put online. Anything that's fake, you can put it online. 2K doesn't care. <laughs> so Meech dropped this tweet, NBA 2K20 My Park loading screen. I put together, shout out to Craig for making the menu. And it, it's just like, it's just fan art guys. Just people excited about the, hey, shout out to Twitter real quick. What is good with the video codec? Why does it look like this? My internet is amazing. What is this? So if you're a designer, make sure to tag all of your fan art so nobody tries to pass it off as something real and something that they found. And the sad part is, is the last dude really tried to say he was some sort of insider. <laughs> it was like when everybody pretended like they knew what Kawhi was gonna do and he, had, he bamboozled the whole league. It was like that. The real question is, where is Crashy Lion? Hold on. He not uploading no more, man. Cause previously, you can go on channels like Crashy Lion and see all of the fake stuff. It's 100% guaranteed to be fake if it's on this channel. How about Hunzi? Is Hunzi still on? Bro, what happened to the OG fake? What, they left the community? Where's his channel? Did he get deleted? Oh my God, that's so tragic. So in previous years, we just knew that people was gonna upload fake videos and we knew what to expect. <laughs> But those guys are no longer in the game, man. It's a whole new group of people trying to do this. Yeah, things got interesting a few days ago because usually I know when things happen, but this time I had no clue what was happening. Grinding put out a tweet saying, I was invited to the main 2K event this year and offered to have my face scanned into 2K20, but the timing was awful for me and my family, so I won't be going. I just want to say thank you to everybody who supports me. It's insane how far we've come. We'll get another chance, I promise. Bro, literally me and all the YouTubers I speak to were looking at each other like, do you know what 2K event he's talking about? Cause I haven't been invited to such a thing, man. I have no idea what he's talking about. And I'm just now hearing about this. So then everybody was like, who got invited? Everybody started to ask around. Nadex dropped a tweet saying, I don't care about being invited to a 2K event, but I tell you people who should get invited are the people who actually grind the game and put out great content like Joe, Duke, Simply, Davis, Agent, Stat, and Real Bandit. Everyone's just trying to figure out who's going, who's not going, what is the event? I still don't know what the event is. And then the community found out that Jay Fox, the second person to hit 99 overall in 2K19, is going to some sort of event with 2K. 
And then we're like, hold on, it's happening now? I'm so perplexed. I have no clue what's going on, man. Nate X put out a tweet saying, J Fox getting invited to the 2K headquarters when he ain't even. LMFAO, they should have invited the three grinders playing on his account too while he was sleeping and taking care of his kids. Boy is straight defensive, my career grinder. <laughs> This is not even a drama alert, but that was just too juicy to leave out, yo. The fact that dudes like I'm Davis and Duke didn't get invited from 2K is crazy. Those dudes went crazy this year, crazy views and sub counts, shake my head. Then you look in the replies, I mean, how do you know? Someone told me the event is in like two days. <laughs> So I think the only people that know what's going on is 2K because everybody else is confused. Usually the way they do things is they have one event near the launch of the game. Usually that event has the next NBA 2K playable and so that's the main focus. Everybody's trying to play and learn as much as possible. But they usually do an event a month before that as well. So maybe they're switching things up this year. Ronnie did say that the reason they took so long to even announce 2K20 is because they're doing things differently this year. I asked him if 2K is going to Gamescom and he seemed like, ah. So there's a real possibility that 2K is deviating from their usual path, and so nobody knows what's going on almost all the time. Anyway, that's besides the point. There's some more news. So at E3, there was a list that leaked of all the upcoming Nintendo games, and one of the unlisted, unnamed games was priced at $200. Most people assume that was NBA 2K20's Deluxe Edition. But last week when NBA 2K announced NBA 2K20, there was a $60 version, another $60 version, and a $100 version of the game. So we're like, huh, maybe there's another $200 game. But then I see this tweet here from Brutal Sim. Shout out to Brutal Sim. Seems like NBA 2K20 has a different package that's not listed on the 2K website. 200,000 VC with no price point listed yet. What are your thoughts? And you can look at all the benefits you get there in the description, including 200K VC, 50 My Career Boost, a shoe collection, a few packs on my team, yada, yada, yada. So then immediately it kind of clicked in my mind, maybe that's that $200 version. Maybe, maybe it's 150, I don't know. When NBA 2K launches, we usually know what the launch is gonna look like because we could just look back at previous years to see what they did. Because they're doing so much differently this year and I don't know why, there's no real way to predict what they're up to. I can't tell if they're pulling up to Gamescom. I don't know what NBA 2K events are pulling up. I don't know when I could expect to see some leaked screenshots that I obviously can't post because I don't want to murk my channel. I just don't know anything. I don't know whether to be excited or whether to be worried that they're gonna mess up the game. I'm literally just perplexed. And while I sit here confused about the situation, I have to field responses on Twitter trying to remind people that all these screenshots is not real. It's not real. For the most part, 2K does an insane job at having no leaks almost all the time. I hope this video helped you all ladies and gentlemen. Don't get caught lacking next time Tony talks to you, all right? Drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, but hey, there's four videos if you wanna watch more. Otherwise, I don't know, what do you guys do in summer? Bike, go to the gym, play basketball, do something. <laughs>